Louisiana is home to some of the largest crawfish farms in the United States. Crawfish are a prominent ingredient in many Cajun and Creole recipes. Every year, nearly 3 million pounds of crawfish are harvested from these farms. Even though crawfish are typically gathered in the spring, these farms have developed special techniques which have enabled them to harvest crawfish at any time of the year. By doing so, they are able to get an edge over their rivals in the global market. The crawfish are fed maize and rice as they grow in enormous ponds. These farms meet a significant percentage of the nation's need for crawfish, since the typical American consumes 1.3 pounds annually. The majority of the United States crawfish supply comes from just one state, which is Louisiana. Growing crawfish in Louisiana started in the 1980s and has since expanded quickly. Today, Louisiana is home to over 400 commercial crawfish farms that include over 37,000 acres of land. Nearly 3,500 people are directly or indirectly involved in the sector and it contributes over $300 million to the economy every year. All these farms are constantly developing new methods to increase crawfish production each year. Growing rice and crawfish together is an art that many Louisiana farmers seem to have perfected. Long-term rice farmers who made the smart decision to diversify into integrated crawfish aquaculture saw their profits increase and were able to better weather the inevitable price fluctuations in the rice market. Recent research from China also shows that smallholder rice farmers throughout Asia would do well to adopt integrated rice crawfish growing techniques. It's an easy concept to grasp and it's the kind of invention that may shield vulnerable smallholders from the effects of agricultural market fluctuations and significantly increase their earnings at the same time. However, everything comes with a price. If not handled correctly, a massive transition in this direction might also have a negative impact on regional food security. How do you combine crawfish farms and rice production farms? What are the benefits? The Louisiana rice farmers flood their fields, plant their crops, and then wait patiently until the rice emerging from the flooded fields is just tall enough to give a little shade for the water, which will slow the evaporation process. The fish require this type of habitat. They are then introduced and allowed to multiply and grow. The fish droppings aid and improve soil fertility, making it possible to grow more rice the next year. In return, the rice plants provide the crawfish with a safe haven and a fertile breeding environment in the form of an artificial wetland. In Louisiana, some farmers follow a rotating strategy that sees them cultivating rice one year and crawfish the next. Amazing, right? The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries began studying the possibility of cultivating crawfish in tiny ponds in the 50s and 60s, which led to the idea of merging rice cultivation with crawfishing. Very quickly after that, farmers started raising them alongside their rice harvests despite the fact that they could be grown year-round in their own fields. Midway through the 1970s, only about 44,000 acres of land was set aside for this kind of aquaculture in the United States. The crawfish business in Louisiana has exploded thanks to the practice of raising the crustaceans in rice fields, which has also benefited the state's economy as a whole. In 1997, crawfish sales were $41 million, in which rice farms accounted for $28 million. Growing crawfish in rice fields generated $168.5 million in 2012. And in 2014, sales of crawfish amounted to $172 million. As a result, modern-day rice producers have a new opportunity for making money. Some of the farmers are also now selling their products online. The use of modern methods and new technologies has also helped farmers. What new technologies and methods are being employed by America's new farms? How will these technologies and strategies deal with the problems affecting the crawfish farming industry? There are some problems associated with crawfish farming in America. The industry has been suffering from a variety of difficulties, including illness, diminishing water quality, and growing expenses. A fungal illness known as the crawfish plague 
has severely impacted the business in recent years. Due to the disease's effects, harvests of crawfish have dropped dramatically, driving up their price. Crawfish growers are also battling diminishing water quality. A significant issue is the contamination of many of the state's rivers by agricultural runoff from farms. This pollution may create major health issues for crawfish and can make them less marketable. Crawfish farms are currently using cutting-edge technologies to solve these problems. Along with this, the government is also trying its best to help the industry. Farmers can now produce more crawfish than ever before thanks to the new technological improvements. Farmers are now able to cultivate crawfish in a regulated environment, leading to a superior end product. An important aspect of the state's economy, crawfish farming is seeing increased efficiency and output. Most farmers in the past only used traditional techniques for crawfish farming. However, these days, they are using innovative techniques that are both more productive and also result in a higher quality product. A crawfish auto-separation system has been created with the potential to generate hundreds of thousands of juveniles daily and is just one of the methods and technologies that have been developed to boost crawfish output. The auto-separation system's adaptability means it might be utilized for breeding other types of shrimp and fish as well. This system is currently being employed by all the crawfish farms in the United States. A new method called micro-bubble system is also currently being employed in crawfish farms. This would make the industry more financially and ecologically sustainable by reducing costs, increasing productivity, optimizing land use, reducing energy needs, and reducing the negative impact that fish farming has on the environment. Micro-bubble aeration is a method that involves the use of a generator to make minute bubbles that release free radicals and increases the oxygen levels in the water. This allows the water to get rid of waste products, which decrease the probability of diseases and increases productivity. Micro-bubbles have the ability to purify water by releasing free radicals into the water, which can then be used to detoxify and degrade organic contaminants. This process is called bubble disinfection. The farmers hope that by using this method, they would be able to stimulate the growth of crawfish and encourage the circulation of beneficial bacteria known as bioflock while keeping the energy requirements low. According to the findings of a research, shrimp and other aquaculture species, such as giant freshwater prawns, may also benefit from the use of microbubbles. It can accelerate their development while simultaneously reducing the quantity of clean water required to operate the aquaculture facilities. The government is making significant contributions towards resolving all of the issues that are associated with the industry. The Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board was founded in 1983 by the state of Louisiana with the goal of advancing the crawfish industry. The board helps the crawfish industry by publishing teaching programs, conducting research, and providing grants to businesses in the industry. Another manner in which the state assists its farmers is through the Crawfish Farming Assistance Program, which is administered by the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry. This program offers financial aid for startup costs, as well as assistance with acquiring equipment and specialized knowledge. As a result of all these new technologies and government assistance, these problems will be resolved quickly. These cutting-edge technologies also enable America's crawfish farms to produce over 3 million pounds of crawfish each year. This many crawfish can be produced due to the way these farms are set up and due to the favorable environmental conditions in the country.